What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, my fighters? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about some awesome news about the Walking Dead universe. So, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, that's for sure. If you don't want to know this information, stop watching now. So, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things The Walking Dead Season 11, San Diego Comic Con, Tales of the Walking Dead, a preview special on August 7th, a bunch of good stuff. So, make sure you watch to the end of the video. Like, share, subscribe, support the PT channel when you can, yada, yada, yada. Now, The Walking Dead final episodes, the last episode's trailer is going to be eight minutes long. So does that mean we're going to see stuff from all previous seasons or is it going to be an eight minute long trailer of stuff for the final eight episodes? I don't know, but I can't wait to see it. Hopefully it airs tomorrow, Friday, July 22nd during probably after the Walking Dead panel. And in case you missed it, we're going to have a Tales of the Walking Dead panel on Friday, July 22nd, 1230 to 130 p.m. That's going to be in Hall H, remember it's West Coast time, followed by the Walking Dead panel, Friday, July 22nd, 1.30 to 2.30 West Coast, California time. But also there's some news going around that we're going to see a walker, a leak of tomorrow's trailer reveals climbing evolved walkers. So they're really trying to throw a wrench in here at the very end of the series because they're going to try to carry this forward, I'm guessing. So you can see a walker climbing over the walls of some renaissance you know victorian era game of thrones style place here wherever our group is and i saw the trailer teaser stuff way back when and it reminds me of a couple scenes here with aaron jerry and lydia and it's interesting because we never saw a place like this before is it a renaissance fair is it part of the commonwealth what is this place? Have yet to see it. So we're going to go to a new area. It's hard to make out the walkers, what's going on here, but there is a walker on top of a platform here. Aaron is, you know, killing the walker most likely. So it sounds like we're going to see evolving walkers. That's going to go back to season one when they were climbing fences and they were doing that stuff there that we haven't seen ever since. So is it a plot hole? Is it a mistake? Is it just they're jumping the shark yet again? I'm not sure, but it's something that we're going to see in the final eight episodes, potentially, allegedly, possibly, probably. But either way, we're going to see this. I'm interested in the Renaissance Fair area here of the Commonwealth, most likely. And it's pretty cool of a new little area that we've never seen before. Jerry is swinging his sword around. And it's just cool to see our group together fighting walkers. And I'm excited. And it's bittersweet for the final eight episodes, but when The Walking Dead's back, you know, it feels like it's complete. It feels like my life is complete when The Walking Dead's back on TV, whether you watch on AMC or AMC+. Plus. And sorry for the blurry photos, but you see that Lydia looks shocked at something here. And you see her fighting a walker, and you see different stuff around here, upcoming photos. And what do you think about these new variant cohort walkers? Is it too little too late? Is it just something to carry forward with the lore of the Walking Dead universe, because I'm ready for the universe to end, and they're gonna be like, wait, wait, there's more. Wait, no, keep watching. No, we're still going, keep watching. Keep buying stuff, keep buying AMC Plus and AMC. No, the walkers are there. Are the walkers ever gonna go away? Because in the comic, they go away, and that's pretty much how the story ends. I don't think they wanna do that in the shows and the spinoffs. But I'm interested to see what's up with the walkers. Because it is interesting to see, we're probably never going to find out what caused and started the zombie apocalypse, which is kind of weak in my opinion, but we'll have to see how it plays out. Now, if you follow Dwayne, Charles, Manwiller, Manweiler on Instagram, you get to see some of the photos from the director of photography. He was. So it's pretty cool to see what we're going to be seeing some of these shots in the final season the final eight episodes. And it's weird to say the final eight episodes. And we know some of the stuff, potential spoilers for some of the cast members, but some stuff we don't know yet. Like who's in the jail cell? Who's gonna survive? Who's gonna make it to the end of the series? And also, when does it come back on TV? I shared a video about it about a month ago. And if it's true, it may be September 25th on AMC Plus and October 2nd on AMC. So I'll have to see. But if you are in some of the hotels, photo credits to the people that took these in San Diego, you see the last episode's October. So it could be that. It could be on AMC Plus a week early because they love to do that. And it says last episode's October. And it's cool to see what some of these 
cast members are going to look like, the characters are going to look like. Look at Yumiko rocking the power suit and the daggers. It's just pretty cool. Magna, Princess, Negan, Judith, Rosita. What do you think? Are we going to lose any of these characters? I think we could lose somebody, but I can't wait to see the final episodes of The Walking Dead. Daryl, Maggie, what's the future holding for them in their spinoffs? We know they very much make it past the season. And Ezekiel and Carol. Who do you think runs the Commonwealth? Do you think it's Ezekiel? That'd be pretty cool. We'll see if that's a change from the comic. I'm not in San Diego, but photo credit to the people who took these photos. The Walking Dead is going to be well represented with posters and stuff up here. Resist the Commonwealth, and we're going to see a common thing here. And it's pretty cool to see the different cast members. And if you look closely on them, it's like, who is the person by the pole? Is that Aaron there? Because you can tell it's Lydia, Eugene, Connie, Jerry, I guess Aaron, Father Gabriel, Princess, Yumiko, Magna. Looks like the same photos, right? And it's crazy to think that the series is coming to an end. I love this artwork right here from AMC and The Walking Dead, I believe. This needs to be a poster, and it looks pretty cool. Hopefully, they'll make that into a poster. I'm sure they will. But again, The Walking Dead, the last eight episodes trailer, is going to be eight minutes long. That's crazy, right? And again, the panels, for those who don't know, this July, 1230. So basically, from 1230... To 2.30, we're going to have Walking Dead panels. Tales of the Walking Dead first, then the Walking Dead. Hopefully they post them up on YouTube you know, afterwards. And it should be on YouTube on different channels. And I would think that San Diego Comic Con is going to have the panels up. If you're going to be in Tampa Bay, there's going to be a Tampa Bay Comic Convention July 29th through the 31st. You can get a photo with Ezekiel, Aaron, and Princess. Group photo op. Pretty cool stuff at Tampa Bay Comic Convention July 29th. Through the 31st i'm not sure when these three are going to be there but they're going to be there that weekend also credit to from twd promos and videos for this little negan maggie isle of the dead filming news here's an exclusive little island of the dead scoop they will begin filming soon at an abandoned kmart in newark new jersey filming will be in the basement which features access to an abandoned trolley tunnel they will also film on the roof location scouting doing a great job so an abandoned kmart Hmm. I remember growing up, I used to go to Kmart. Now it's pretty much gone. Also, on August 7th, Sunday, August 7th, a week before Tales of the Walking Dead airs, there looks to be a Talking Dead, the Walking Dead universe preview special. So they probably should talk about Isle of the Dead, Daryl Show, other information that they didn't cover at Comic-Con. It would be awesome if they covered Rick News. We still are waiting and waiting for that. But mark it down, Sunday, August 7th. So what do you think about the potential new walkers? Is it dumb? Too little, too late? A waste of time? I just think it's trying to keep stuff coming along and to keep the story going. They're like, okay, what's going to be the new problem? Because I'm guessing after the Commonwealth, people aren't going to be that much of a problem unless they bring the CRM in, which they need to do in my opinion. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below and definitely like share and subscribe to the pt channel because when we get information we're beginning more and more information we're going to share with you guys and i don't want you to miss out if you love the walking dead still this channel will be talking about it for the end of time now to the end of the year that's for sure either way thank you to my patrons my members my subscribers anyone who supports the pt channel we truly appreciate it thank you very much stay safe and as always tell them daryl yeah we love you guys